On December 19, 1948, the new McCarran Field opened with four airlines offering a total of 12 flights per day. By 1954, yearly passenger traffic at the airport had grown by 900 percent. Expansion was obviously necessary and the airport began to change. The numbers here have always been amazing. When you think of it, McCarran Airport has been the busiest airport per capita for the size of the community that it's in since the 1950s. There's been very few years in the overall history of McCarran that there hasn't been an expansion project going on. In 1960, arrivals and departures at the airport passed one million. New plans were developed for a modern Jet H airport across the field from the existing terminal. On March 15, 1963, airport operations moved from the Las Vegas Boulevard side of the field to the Paradise Road side. The move made future expansion possible. With the advent of larger aircraft in the 1960s and 1970s, many new carriers began flying to Las Vegas. In 1969, we got our first 747 flight. Uh, 747 was huge. It was over 400 passengers. It strained every airport it flew into because you had so many people getting off and using baggage claim and walkways and even bathrooms at the same time. So this was a huge impact. But here it had a secondary impact. When they brought the first one in just to test the runways, it flew in just fine, took off just fine, and blew out 21 lights on the airstrip. Just blew them out across the desert. They went rolling. Well, the guy in charge of putting them back went to see the airport manager and he said, that plane just blew out 21 of our lights. The airport manager said, give me a bill. And he took that bill, sent it to Boeing, and Boeing sent back a check. Didn't even say a word. Michael Bennett is the assistant director of aviation security, but began working around the airport in 1972 and says today's McCarran International Airport is completely unrecognizable compared to the facility during the 1970s. According to Bennett, air travel decades ago was much more of a relaxed atmosphere before the addition of security measures that are required today. You come in the airport, you went up a set of escalators and you went right to the gates. Bennett also remembers when passengers would dress up. Often men wore suits and ties and women would wear dresses and fancy hats. Bennett recalls in the early 70s when the airlines would deplane passengers right on the airfield, a completely different process from how it's done today. The land out there uh, just west of Patrick was called overnight parking. And on Thursdays and Sundays, United would bring probably 10 or 12 stretch eights out there. We would take the buses right on the field and they would lot load the airplane right into the buses and go. In 1978, dramatic increases in passenger volume and terminal traffic prompted the adoption of the McCarran 2000 Master Plan, a long-range program designed to respond to Las Vegas' booming tourism industry. The three-phase plan included a new baggage claim, expanded ticketing area, a nine-level parking facility, runway additions and expansions, additional gates, and a new tunnel, and revamped roadways into the airport. Well, that transition was really good for the airport and everybody else, and it was a whole lot easier. In 1982, more than 9.4 million passengers used the airport, nearly double the 1972 figures. Clark County voters passed a $300 million bond, the largest airport bond issue in history, to fund planned expansion projects. Throughout its 66 years of operations, McCarran has been a first-class airport because it successfully responds to driving forces around it. Even from the very beginning, McCarran was the gateway and will always continue to be the gateway to Southern Nevada. It's exciting, it's evolving, you're around aircraft, you're around people, every day there's something different going on. This is the best place in the world to work. With no major capital expansion projects on the horizon, maintaining a high level of customer service will continue to be a top goal of the Department of Aviation. McCarran will remain the gateway airport for Las Vegas visitors, the role it has proudly served since 1948.